weekend edition now in the wake of another murder again of a high profile citizen in a similar manner like a number of other previous assassinations this trend punches holes in our security and intelligence systems in the country where security has been priority in terms of budget where are the loopholes that the assassins have continued to take advantage to almost leak to almost cleanly execute their missions. Now to discuss this with me is security expert Freddy Egesa on Talk of the Nation. Freddy Egesa security expert welcome to talk of the nation tonight oh, thank you very much uh, good evening viewers i'm freddy david i guess i have yeah. that middle name david all right yes so let's start at the point of understanding security because you know the trend at which these assassinations are happening is almost similar but this you know to just drive it away from the target of the high profile people let's take a look at our own selves you know the citizenry how do we ensure that we can also be helpful to security uh, agencies you know in terms of you know helping to provide probably you know proof or evidence especially those people who are around such scenarios you know security is a broad kind of uh, uh, I would say it's a very it's very broad uh, what we're looking at here is a situation of uh, uh, how the type of security being practiced in Uganda uh, is that kind of reactionary security, whereby when there is an incident, uh, you see panic, you see enthusiasm, you see people are doing something. Like I was looking at the scene, uh, I'm just discussing investigations here. Uh, you look at the scene and you say, this was a moving target. This was a moving, uh, so it was a moving scene. And uh, we did not, like, we have not put up a system whereby scenes are preserved. So the scene is adulterated, then you find that people come, spend over eight hours, and almost speak what a professional would pick in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, that's over, being over enthusiastic. Uh, I'm not blaming them, but what I'm saying is you, it, that indicates even a situation of panic that we are not ready. We don't even know what we are looking for. Mm -hmm. Because in such a situation whereby someone has not been, this, a scene that is not static, you don't expect so much. Either the cartridges, the wasted the person shot, and maybe those the the injured or the dead. Then you go to design, but this has to be backed up by uh, prior inform, inform, prior intelligence, which has to come from the public. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm looking at, I will first of all go to the dignitaries because much of the of course it's like they are the targets. Uh, we are seeing a situation whereby we see Kawesi, we see Chegunu, and we see Abiga now. Very unfortunate. Uh, what I'm saying is this: uh, we have the security has to go back to the drawing board and find out why people are becoming very easy targets now. Here's a situation where none of our bo the bodyguards uh, uh, who are uh, who are entrusted with the lives of the Gintaris, none of them has, at least has reacted. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That these bodyguards have not been uh, they, they are not they, they have not been taken through a good program whereby they can know that they are taking very important people. In fact, in our own way, we used to take the search for as items. They are not even people. You take them as items. It's like you're taking gold or you're taking money. Mm. So you're supposed to be very alert. You're supposed to do this and this. Look at this. We have brought in a lot of unprofessionalism. How can you tell me that the bodyguard to Abiga was a relative? How did it come about? Mm -hmm. Does he, did he choose his own bodyguards? How do you tell him that Kawesi had bodyguards and they had stayed with him for five years? Now, if bodyguards are not allocated, they are not picked by the person. They are allocated as per need and ability. So, these are the loopholes you have to deal with. Now, with the public. If the public is to be used, the public is very ready, incidentally. If the public is to be used, uh, is the security ready to receive and kind of nurture pu the public into what we call, I've said, I've, I've given it a name of Ujama intelligence, so that the people get to know and the people feel that by giving state information you are doing them you are doing a good job. I think I've heard of countries, I think like Rwanda, where information from public is bought. There is a fee. Whereby, if you bring good information, it is bought. Uh, in Uganda, you bring good information, they even suspect you. Now, maybe 
let's say maybe that has passed and we're now building a new system of policing can we say that the public because the public is ready but the public is 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 kind of scared about who to tell what now under the circumstances if information great inf good inf intelligence becomes just mere rumors then it cannot be useful at all because the consumer is the state uh, who has capacity and power to react over the information yes i know you know all these situations almost have a similar you know a similar orchestration of how they are done you know two border guys waiting somewhere for some time and you know the public somehow neglects but also if we just take a look into what the president is saying that cctv installation around the city will also help you know reduce crime is that plausible because all these incidents have happened actually away from the city should we take more emphasis on you know providing uh, good lookouts into the city and forget about uh, the people in our home areas actually where we come from of course, much of uh, maybe the president may have in mind that much of uh, uh, m m many of the criminals uh, use the city as the, as a kind of a hub. So, in one or the other, you can look at the 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 the, 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 the way they are chanting, the way they are moving, the way they are kind of uh, reacting, and then you get to know that oh, there was a brother of this nature. But eventually, someone he maybe the, we have that mind of saying that if someone commits a crime somewhere, at one time he, he may pass via a, a, a place where there's a camera. But that let's say that we cannot completely neglect the issue of cameras but uh, because now it is the modern way of doing things and it is a digital way it is, it's, it's, it, 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 it adds to security but ultimately uh, what i've realized is that security programs that work for, for europe may not work for uganda because we are at a certain stage where our roads are not marked where uh, several of our roads do, i don't know because there are should we maybe put cameras on trees uh, there are areas where which are we are still so rural that there is no infrastructure to keep to 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 to, to manage it, to mean to kind of protect cameras you have seen uh, a situation where the road signs are being vandalized and are taken by scrap uh, scrap guys so th that may also be a problem if we mount a camera in a certain area shall we also put a guard to make sure that it's not vandalized or taken so in le less in addition of cameras as the president suggests think of going back to recreate the special branch programs where people there are people in state intelligence and they have never even been seen in uniform mm -hmm. they have never been seen uh, carrying pistols they have not been see, they have never been seen carrying radio calls who are down there to see that everything that is being done is picked we are very lucky in uganda that uh, we have people who are who hospitable Ugandans are very kind, they love to talk, they love to put a nice smile, meaning that they, are very, very, they can be very, very good items of picking intelligence from the ground. Previously we had uh, security groups locally uh, uh, known as LDU or the local defense units. And these of course would pay a fee, you know, some little money for them to be sustained. And somehow these people were wiped out. Do you think such security groups locally would help also to do some good job in in terms of surveillance especially now once you organize the once you organize the like when, once you build uh, such organizations like uh, LDUs, you come up with the uh, crime preventers and so on. Eh? It won't will have a financial implication. Secondly, they will abandon whatever developmental jobs they are doing and concentrate on fleece, on uh, surviving on issues of security, surviving on information. They become double dealers. They become also a liability to state. But with the Ujama intelligence, it is like a voluntary monitoring of your village. Voluntary monitoring of your workplace, voluntary giving of, of information, and what the government, instead of putting sal up salaries for LDU, salaries for crime preventers, salaries for everything, they would just put up a token that if you come with good information, that is really good information, a token is given. People are very, very anxious to give this information because they know only that they fear that whoever they may give information may turn out to be a body to the criminals. All right. Thank you very much, Freddie David Egesa, for joining us this evening to, you know, share many or oh, one or two things about security and how we can handle. That is Talk of the Nation tonight. We will take a short break and we return with sport.
News Byte is brought to you by Safe Drive Uganda, improving road safety. If they can kill those who are highly guarded, if they can kidnap people, and in fact they call you and warn you to send money, and and those who call you they 